Hey everyone, welcome to Circles. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how to find the circumference of a circle. All right, first let's do a little review. The distance around a circle is called the circumference. Okay, so if you were to cut right here and then stretch it out straight, the circumference would be the distance around the circle. Uh, we have the center point, which is the point that's directly in the center of the circle. The line that goes through the center point and touches both sides of the circle is called the diameter. And if you go from the center point just to the edge, that's half the diameter, which is known as the radius. Pi, a very special mathematical symbol. What does it represent? Well, uh, it represents a very specific number. It's a number we don't exactly know. Um, people have memorized it up to 100,000 digits. Uh, I think that's the world record. Um, I'm sure we know it into the billions, but nobody knows exactly what the number pi is. Um, that's why we like to round it to 3.14 or 3.1415, uh, depending on how close you want to get. All right, so uh, 3.14 is a good estimate. Also, if you want to use it as a fraction, 22 sevenths is also a good estimate. Use a calculator, divide 22 by 7, see what shows up. Okay, so what's the circumference? It's the distance around a circle, all the way around. And we've got a formula to be able to figure that out. C equals pi times d, which means circumference equals pi times the diameter. Pretty easy. So if I give you a circle, and I tell you that the diameter is 13 centimeters, step one, write the formula. Circumference equals pi times the diameter. Step two, plug in the numbers. Pi times 13. So the circumference is 13 pi, exactly. But if you wanted to have a number that it's about, all you have to do is plug in 3.14 for pi, multiply, and you would get 40.82 centimeters is what the circumference is about. All right, what if I gave you a radius and the radius was nine meters? Well, the formula is circumference equals pi times diameter. So, remember, the diameter is twice the radius, so you would have to put in 18 for the diameter, because that's twice 2 times 9. So, circumference equals 18 pi, but if we want to find out what the number was about, we can multiply it times 3.14. I have no idea what that was, but we'll deal with it. All right, so we get the answer. Circumference is about 56.52 meters. One of the things that will help you if you want to be able to multiply uh, using pi really quickly is remember your 3.14s. When you were in elementary school, they made you learn your fours, your nines, your sevens, all that kind of stuff. You did around the world, all that kind of fun things. Imagine if you knew your 314s, and they can be remembered very easily. I've had lots of students do it. So here they are. Write them down. Memorize them. And once you do, you're going to be amazed at how quickly your multiplication and division of pi is done. Okay, so here we are, circumference. I'm giving you this. Give it a shot. There's the formula. Okay, I'm back. Now we plug in 8 because that is the diameter. And of course everyone knows 8 times 314 is 2512, or in this case 25.12. Here's a radius. Here's the circumference. Um, remember, what is the radius to the diameter? See if you can handle this one. Did you get 28 pi? Awesome. 28 times 3.14. If you know your multiplication facts, that's going to be really, really easy for you. And you end up getting the answer. Now, why do people like to use 22.22 sevenths? Well, in this case, it would have been really, really easy. Because when you simplify, notice, I get 4 times 22, which is 88. And isn't 88 incredibly close to 87.92? Yeah, close enough. Okay, so here's what your book's going to try and trick you on. How about if you had a half and we wanted to find out the distance around this half circle shape? Well, we could find the circumference and divide it by 2. Be pretty easy, because now when we simplify, we end up getting the circumference, or half the circumference, equals 3 pi. We all know that 3 times uh, 314 is 9.42. Perfect. Okay, however, that is not the distance around the entire shape. 
because not only do you have to know what half the circle is, you also have to add in that radius because there's half the circle and then there's the diameter, excuse me, diameter. When you add them up, you end up getting your answer. And they're just trying to trick you with that last little bit. All right, you give it a shot. Here's your formula. Oh, by the way, the 8 inches is the entire diameter. I'm back. Divide it by 2, and you'd end up getting 4 pi. 12.56, and don't forget to add in the 8, and you get your answer. 20.56 inches. All right. Here's another one. 15 inches is the diameter. Now when we divide by 2, notice we get a decimal, uh-oh, 7.5. That's okay. We can multiply 7.5 times 3.14 pretty easily, especially if you know your multiplication facts. And we get 23.55. Don't forget to add back in the 15. All right. If you guys have questions about this, don't be afraid to ask your teacher. Good luck, everybody. We're done.